welcome to Interactive Bible Study. We bless the holy name of God. The God we are serving is a mighty God. And this God come to work His wonders and miracles, even in every life and destiny. In just mm -hmm. name, we are so glad and so happy and able to join with us. Sorry for saying a little bit late, but we are here. We thank God for His goodness and mercies. And Lord, we continue to bless everyone mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Center. And I help my wife, Pastor Fumi. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Welcome to Bible study tonight. You are blessed and I am favored. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you so much for joining us. You are blessed in Jesus' name. The Lord going to bless work wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that we are on two platforms. So let's begin to share, share, share. Share on your Facebook page. Share on your timeline. Share with the groups you belong to and God will bless you. And also don't forget to share on Messenger. On Instagram and on WhatsApp, and God will bless you in Jesus' name. And also, if you are watching us via YouTube, please um, inform your subscribers and those who are subscribed to to come and watch. And let's share on every platform we are on, every app we are on. And let us share, let's get as many people as possible. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. God bless you. Please share the program with somebody. It's time for Bible study. Let's fix from the table of the Lord. And the Lord will bless us all in Jesus' name. We believe in that God will work His wonders and miracles today, mm -hmm. and we shall learn a lot. So, mm -hmm. I hope you are prepared, your body is prepared, <clears throat> your soul is prepared, me, and your heart is prepared. You are prepared to feast at the table of Christ, and I tell you, we shall all be fed and all be satisfied in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, get your Bibles, get your writing pad, <coughs> and also get your portions ready. And we all we are going to read the word of God, and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. You are all welcome. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice. I'm glad in it. God bless you. That is well with your soul. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. Bless you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor, the marvelous King. I accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. With the Alpha <coughs> and the Omega, the first, the last, the beginning, the end, the Lord Almighty who was and is and is to come. We bless and worship you. I accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Give us the grace to be here again. Allowing us to see the last Wednesday in the fifth month of this year. Mm. We bless and worship you. This you are doing, Lord. And with us in our eyes, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Every sin, Lord, forgive in Jesus' name. Amen. Cleanse us with your blood. Mm. Holy Ghost, come down with your fire, your power, your grace. Your word says, Where two or three we got together in your name, there you'll be in their midst. Yes. Come down into our midst and have your mm. way. We come against every evil of the enemy. We come against those powers that eat up the word of God. Those powers that, mm. that doesn't allow people to focus or concentrate. Those powers that makes the mind wonder. It will come against them. We we'll bind them. We we'll cast it to hurt them. And just mm. every part that wants to distract us from the word of God will come against them. Mm. And the power of the Holy Ghost will bind them. We we'll cast it to hurt mm. them. And just mm. we we'll cover ourselves, our thought process, mm. our mind, our heart, our spirit with the blood of Jesus. Mm. We hide ourselves under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty. My Father, begin to have your way and let your name be glorified. Meet us at the very point of our need. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. We bless you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go before God and begin to exalt His name. It's worthy to be praised. Mm -hmm. It's worthy to be honored. Let's begin to thank Him in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, King. Thank you, Savior. We shall die. We bless you. Worship you. Praise you. Adore you. Honor you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, there we pray. Amen. Let's thank Him because He's the Lord. Some say, I'll bless the Lord at all times. And his prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. I think it will thank him. Father, thank, thank you. We bless you. We glorify you. Honor you. We thank you, Lord. We bless and bless you. Thank you for your blessing and your mercy. For being with us. For not allowing you to follow us. We bless and worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, King. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Ashana. Thank you, Giovanni. We bless you. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go for God and say, Father, I come before you. Forgive me my sins. Let's begin to pray. Father, I come before you. You are the mighty God. You are the true God. Every sin, Father, forgive me. Father, wash me clean. Father, make me whole. Father, dip me in your blood. Father, cleanse me from my sin. Father, my whole of a shandeli, the new shandeli, Abra. Jesus, name we pray. Let's tell God, I need you tonight. Holy Ghost, speak to me. Touch my life. Touch my heart. Renew me, O God. Let's begin to pray. Father, we need you pray. Tonight we have come to see you. Let us see you. Father, let us see you. Holy Ghost, let us pray. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost, sweet of the living God, 
Lord, teach me your word tonight. Let's begin to pray. And I will pray to the living God. Teach me your word tonight. Let your word have root in me. Jesus, name we we'll pray. Let's put down every stronghold of the enemy tonight. Let's begin to pray. And I will put down every stronghold of the enemy. We put down every stronghold of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Put him aside the power of power in Jesus' name we pray. Let's apply the blood of the Lamb tonight. Say, Lord, we plead your blood tonight. Let's begin to pray. Father Jehovah, to plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We will take control. Put him in the power of power in that. And put him in the power of power in that. Jesus' name we pray. Father, we worship you. We adore you. We magnify you. The Father has given no God. Spirit of a living God. Spirit for the world. Have your way. Do the unusual. Do the miraculous, oh God. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to Bible study online where we study to show ourselves approved mm -hmm. of God and have been the level of workers, wonders, Amen. and miracles in your every life and destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Get your questions ready. You know, we have question time, we have praise time, we have Bible study time, we have prayer time. And you know what? God will lead to work his wonders and Amen. miracles in your lives. So you're not watching by accident but by divine appointment. And let's continue to share. Let's share and invite our friends from far and near and tell you they will bless you, be blessed, we are, we shall all be blessed in Jesus' name. You are not watching by by divine appointment. So you know what? Get ready to go into the word of God and dig deeper in the word Amen. of God. We will bless us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And now we are going into praise and worship. Let's be a part of this. How we invite Rafa Asquire. God bless everyone. Let's all join and we shall be greatly blessed in Jesus' name.
Gloria devotion. Thank you. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Nothing will take my praise. Lord, nothing will take my praise. Let's begin to pray. I do not declare. No devil of hell. No prophetic and power. Nothing will take my praise. And all of sin, I thank you, O God. Glory and the end of glory and the end. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And as you go before God and say that, Lord, let your word sanctify me. Thy word is the truth. Let's begin to pray. Father, let your word sanctify me. Your word is true. Let your come to let your word cleanse me. Your word is pure. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your fire. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Your word is pure. In Jesus' name we pray. As I come to pray today, Lord, let your word sanctify me. Yes, Lord. Let your word sanctify me. Begin to pray and tell God, God that I come before you. Let your word sanctify me. Your word is true. Sanctify me. Your word is true. Sanctify me. Your word is true. Sanctify me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Help the Lord. Let me see you tonight through your word. Let me carry the revelation tonight. Let's begin to pray. Father, do you have a Let me see you tonight. 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 I want to carry the revelation. I will not come in red. Holy Ghost, bring on me. Bring on me. To see you tonight. And glory and above shall I. Jesus, they will pray. The power in the word of God. Touch me tonight. The power in the word of the living God. Touch me tonight. Let's begin to pray. I pray tonight. The power in the word of the living God. Touch me, touch me, touch me. Holy and I'm calling the cowardly singer. Jesus, name we pray. Let's thank God, Lord. The power and the Lord. Lord, meet me at the very point of my name. The power and the word. Meet me, oh God. Let's begin to pray. I pray tonight. The power and the word. Meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me. Now we see the cowardly power is in the power is in the Meet me, oh God. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. And also pray and tell God that Lord, let your word give me understanding. Let your word give me great understanding in you. Let's begin to pray. Let your word give me understanding. Let your word give me understanding. Let your word give me understanding. Holy Ghost, let your word give me understanding. Holy Ghost, I am the Son in the power of the Holy Word of the Living God. Hey, Arabosa, give me understanding. Give me understanding. Give me understanding, oh God. Amen. Let your word, my dear in your word tonight, give me revelation. I want to see you anew in a fresh way. Let's begin to pray. Let your revelation in the word be revealed to me tonight. I don't know. Reveal to me in the revelation. Your word, the Lord, 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 Jesus, I will pray. Now let your word repair my life tonight. Let your word repair me. Help me to pray. Father, I pray tonight. Let your word repair me. 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 My word is in the power of power. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's tell God, Lord Jehovah, I am here to see you. Through your word, touch my situation, touch my life. Let's begin to pray. Father, I'm here to see you. Holy Ghost, through your word. Father, Nanda, Hakada, in the name of Holy Ghost, through your word. Father, Nanda, Hakada, in the name of Holy Ghost, through your word. Father, Nanda, Hakada, in the name of Holy Ghost, through your word. Father, Nanda, Hakada, in the name of Holy Ghost, through your word. Father, Nanda, Hakada, in the name of Holy Ghost, through your word. Father, Nanda, Hakada, in the name of Holy Ghost, through that will not allow me to know you the more. Let your word remove it by fire today. Father, in my life, in my life, Holy Ghost, Father, come to me, 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 Father, 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 every word, guilty word, word, every voice, my Father, the guilt into in my life, my Father, silence them. We do your word, silence them, silence, 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 
In Jesus' name we pray. Oh Lord, tonight as I hear what let me enjoy the freedom in your word. Let's begin to feel what you hear what tonight. Let us enjoy the freedom in your word. Hold on your word. Enjoy. 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 Freedom is mine. It's mine. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let your word set me free. Yes. Total freedom tonight. Yes, yes. Have a good break. Let your word set me free. Total freedom tonight. Let us free. Do your word. Let us free. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, be God in every area of my life. Be God in my situation, oh God. Let's begin to pray. Father, I pray tonight. Be God in every area of my life. Father, be God, be God, be God, be God. Abba, Baba, Robert, in the soap area. How can those so tally and a mantle? Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's tell God, Lord, I am here tonight. The word that we hear tonight, yes. let there be solution to any issue yes. in my life. As I hear your word, let there be solution. Let's begin to pray. Father, I, I pray. Tonight, Jehovah, solution. I hear your word. Solution. Let your word bring solution. Your word. Let your word bring solution. 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 Let your word Father, we thank you that we find you. We give all the praise, all the honor. Have a King accept our thanks just now. Mighty Father, we have made our prayers unto you regarding your word. Mighty Father, shall that begin to work your wonders in our lives through your word tonight in Jesus' name. Let your word illuminate our lives. Let it set us free, transform our lives, take us to the next level, touch our lives, make our lives pure, clean, and sanctified. Father, let your word we hear tonight make us begin to be determined to do your will in the name of Jesus. Have your will, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Once again, you are welcome to Interactive Bible Glory. Study, where we interact to study the Word of God yes. together. This Bible study is interactive. That's why you see we need your comments on both Facebook mm. and YouTube. We need your contribution on both Facebook and YouTube. And God will bless you. We're not just dumping our point out on you. We are deliberating together. God says, Iron, sharpen it, iron. Yes. So let's sharpen ourselves and be strong in the Lord. And what is going to do summary? We have been talking about the spiritual gifts. We will do some marriage, talk about spiritual gift. But before, as we are doing it, if you have any questions that's coming in your heart, let's do that. And then we can begin to type that out as we do summary. And God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Maybe you are reading your Bible, uh, or maybe you are talking to some friends, or maybe something just popped in your mind, or maybe you saw something on social media or TV or radio. You want some correction, you can do that by um, typing your questions either on Facebook or on YouTube and then we'll talk about it Amen. after the summary and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians 12 from verses 4 to 11. 1 Corinthians 12 from verses 4 to 11 and it says There are different gifts but the same spirit. There are different ministries but the same Lord. There are different ways of working, but the same God works all things in all people. Verse 7 says, Now to each one a, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom, to another the message of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in various tongues, and to still another the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of the one and the same mm -hmm. spirit, who apportions them to each one Hallelujah. as he determines. Amen, amen. We thank amen. God for his goodness and message. We will summary now and come with us all in Jesus' name. I believe that we shall all be blessed in the name of Jesus Amen. and the Lord will begin to work his wonders and many people can begin typing your questions please as we go along and God will bless us in Jesus name Amen 1 Corinthians 12 says there are different gifts for the same spirit and this the Bible is telling us and reminding us that there are different gifts vital and um, various gifts from above and the Bible is saying it's from the same spirit so God can choose to use A in one way using his gift or be in another way. By the end of the day, every gift is of the same Spirit of the Lord. I said there are different ministries, but the same Lord. 
So the good produce ministries and whatever ministry God has called into focus on that. Mm -hmm. Leave your brother, your other church doing what they are doing. Mm -hmm. You focus on what God has called you to do, and then you will excel in what God has called you to do. When we look at Peter and Paul, they both excelled in what Christ has called them to do. One was for the Jews, one for the Gentiles, and they excelled in each other's area. Why? Because they focus on the on what God has given to them. So you see, if you want to excel in the ministry God has given to you through the gifting, you know what? Focus on what God has given to you and tell you the Lord will take you higher. Amen. And then verse 7. Verse 6. Verse 6. Uh, there are different ways of working, but the same God works all things in all people. The Bible is saying that there are different ways that God will choose to work. That's why we cannot stereotype God. But the same God works all things in all people. So it is the same God that is still working all things in everyone. Yes. And may God help us. And may we have that understanding in the name of Jesus. But seven says now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. So mm -hmm. it is the that manifests itself in us human beings. It is the Spirit of God that manifests itself, Himself, mm -hmm. in us human beings. So, if you allow the Spirit of God to manifest Himself in us, then it's for the common good. Mm -hmm. And what's that common good? To glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Not to glorify the church or the name of the church or the man or woman of God or the mm -hmm. members of the church, but to glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is the sole purpose of this gifting. It's not to lift men and women up. No, mm -hmm. it's to lift the Holy Spirit, it's to lift Jesus yeah. up. And when Christ is lifted up, it will draw men unto Glory. him. And that's why we was very careful not to not to use all these giftings and turn it to something else except glorifying God, which God will be with when we in, in heaven. Verse 8 says, To one that is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom, to another the message of knowledge by the same Spirit. The Bible is saying that the Lord gives his gifts, and one of them is the gift of wisdom. It talks about the future. Another one is the um, message of knowledge by the same spirit. Knowledge talks about today and yesterday. And I pray the God of heaven will touch our lives with his knowledge and with, his, with wisdom from above in Jesus' name. And Master says to another, to another faith by the same spirit and to another gifts of healing by that one spirit. So that's the faith of God. The faith of God that moves mountains. Moves mountains. The faith of God that man will speak the word and mm -hmm. God will act and there will be a performance of that word has spoken, especially if it's from the throne of God. Of course, God will always back his word up. And so they turn under the gifts of healing by that one spirit, which means that, you know what, that's why it's poorer. And so no one, no, no human being can have all the gifts of healing. God specializes in different areas. You need to identify the area that God wants you to work healings. And then once you do that, I tell you, you excel in that area. Amen. Verse 9 is to another faith by the same spirit. We are given yes, another faith by the same spirit. We are given them the, the gift. Ten. Sorry, verse 10. Verse 10 says to another the working of miracles. So um, you see God works miraculously. To another prophecy. And we say prophet as somebody is prophesying in church. That does not make them to become a prophet or a prophetess. And to another distinguishing between spirit and we say as children of God. We need to know which spirit is operating, whether the spirit of man, the spirit of the flesh, or the spirit of God, or the spirit of the devil. I pray the spirit of the Lord will manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus and this is to another, speaking in various tongues. And this when we receive the Holy Ghost and we are speaking in tongues, and then it says to still another the interpretation of tongues. Amen, amen, amen. amen. We stopped at um so another speaking in various tongues mm. and maybe we'll move on today as the Lord will lead us Amen. We to talk more about the various um, speaking in tongues and God will help us all in the Amen. Jesus. Right now it's question time. Maybe you are reading your Bible and maybe something popped up and you want me to read your Bible and you don't understand a part of a verse or a chapter or you're talking to some friends and we're discussing, sometimes we discuss and mm. you want more conversation. Uh, or maybe you saw something on Christian radio or TV or, or, or social media and you want provision, you can do that now 
and God will bless us all in the Amen. Blessed, happy that the Lord will work his wonders and so it's question time begin to post in your questions and you know it's always good to have questions why because that shows that we are growing mm -hmm. we want to know God more we have a curious mind we need to always have a curious mind that will make us grow and stand the Lord in the mouth and God will give us that grace in the name of Jesus Amen. so if you have questions begin to post in your questions and God will bless you in the name of Jesus I have a question to all our viewers out there to everyone of us is it good and maybe one or two when I ask this I'll ask another one so, is it good for Christians, because it's very common now, to do yoga, is it good for Christians to go for yoga lessons, is it good for Christians to visit a yoga parlor, is it good for Christians to begin to do yoga, you understand, is it good for a child of God to go yoga in, you can use that word, to go yoga in, to do yoga, is it, is it, is it good, is it appropriate for a child of God to undergo such a process, mm -hmm. what they call what they sorry, what they call yoga, yoga. Because you know, let me say anything. Let's let me let me, let's ask. Is it good for a Christian to do yoga? Is it good for mm -hmm. a Christian to do yoga? Let's let them answer. Let's mm -hmm. let's get their feedback, feelings first about that. So, is it good for a child of God? Mm -hmm. to do yoga. If they call you and say there are yoga lessons there, it will help your body to be in shape, it will look, help you to look, feel healthy, it will help you to, your brain to think well, it will help you, your, your, your body to circulate very well. So is it good for a child of God to go yoga and to do yoga? We are waiting for your answer before Pastor says something. One or two people answer that is it good for a child of God? Because you know there are many subtle things that have come in now, and we need to know if it's appropriate or not as a child of God. So I'm waiting for your answers, both on YouTube or what's your opinion on it? What do you think about it? Is it good for a child of God to do yoga? Is it good for a child of God to go yoga in? Because many subtle things are coming in, and 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 you know. So we need to understand the ideologies behind all these things. Somebody has answered. Only one person. Let's see what it for you. So I know because they serve a strange God. He used to do it before being a Christian, mind you. Mm. Thank God, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. All things have become new. You know, because what says on pastor before? Yes. So. Um, actually, um, the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The Bible says we will know the truth and the truth shall set, you free. shall set us free. Many times a Christian can be very naive and very sincerely ignorant. Hmm. If you actually Google the word yoga, it means a Hindu spiritual and ascetic discipline. A part of which including breath control, Simple meditation and the adoption of specific bodily postures mm. is widely practiced for health and relaxation. Mm. And that's why they call it yoga classes, beloved of God. As a child of God, if you don't want to be having demonic dreams, you don't want devils to be coming to your sleep, you don't have to be having strange feelings, beloved. Don't go into those kind of things. That's why anything you want to do, ask yourself, this thing I want to do, is it from God? Is this, I mean, is this thing okay? Because there are many things we do very ignorantly. And that's why people will now say, oh, they are sleeping, they are having... Look, if guys not taking somebody will be going for yoga, but then they know they are flying in their dreams. If you don't want to fly, you don't want to be in places you don't want to be, hmm. don't do such things. Because at the end of the day, if you go and look at that, so if you see anything you want to go into, sit down, research it first. This thing I'm being invited, I remember one time at uni, one of the lecturers says, now, because the class we were making noise, that was my before, before you knew. Say, now everybody, let's meditate. Everybody close your eyes. That's, what, that, that's my second question, Pastor. Hmm? <laughs> that's my second question. <laughs> so, and you must say, everybody close your eyes. I said, God forbid. I did not come to uni to be having bad dreams. I did not close my eyes. So. And then she realized that some of us are saying, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, oh, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. And then some people actually did, did it. Do you know they were? Mm, I said, ah, you people are finished. That's why be careful what you get involved in. Anything you don't know, ask questions. Don't say, oh, oh, I don't want to be different. Let me. No, 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 no. Because if you are saying I don't want to be different, by the time the person will know it, they will sleep themselves. They will. And 
by the time they will sleep, they will see themselves in some strange places. They will not run into uh, into trouble. And may God help us in Jesus' name. I know many people are answering, but I want to say something before we read what people are answering. But let me let's just read it before I say somebody says that our body is the temple of God, so I think no. Somebody says Yoga is like an exercise. I did not see anything wrong in doing it, although I don't like it too boring for me. Yoga, let's let's read everything before someone. Sorry, you know, I think it's good to say something. I'm going to say, I'm going to say everything together. But yoga, okay. Yoga is that's that's what because what I want to say is um, what somebody okay. Yoga is is a form of worship. You just like as Christians, we use our holy hands to God. That's our own form of worship. You understand? So. When you go to church, of course, you raise up holy hands, you clap, you understand, you dance. You know, there's some Holy Ghost dance. I know Americans do that a lot. Holy Ghost dance, there are people dance. You know, we're talking about that. Now, those are, those are the form of worship for Christians. Now, yoga is a form of worship for a religion. And it's and called Hindu. <laughs> yoga, no, is form, here. yoga is a form of worship for a religion. So all the postures they are doing, all they are doing is 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 their form and format of worshiping their God. Yeah. Now they are not bringing it to the world as a whole, and if they bring it as a form of religion or religious worship, people will not answer. So they are bringing it as a subtle way of relaxation, a subtle way of exercise, hmm. a subtle way My of God. making your body to be in shape. But that's not all what it is. They are. Subtly, subtly, it's using a subtle way to entice people to worship their God, and that's why you see it's very key. It's, it, it's, 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 it's very, it's, uh, it's very important for us to be careful. Mm. Yoga is not of God. Yoga is a form of worship, and you know what the Bible says in Exodus chapter twenty: Thou shalt not bow down to any image or any god except the Lord God Almighty who is the creator of heaven and earth. So, yoga is a form of worship. That's why you see, those who are advanced in yoga, they begin to do chanting. You understand? Mm. We talk about that in the next question I want to ask about. Yoga is not Christian. It's not Christianity. Yoga does not conform with the forms and rules and regulations of Christendom. Yoga is of the of demons and, and it's a subtle way of winning people. Hmm. That's how they say they have yoga classes, they put their mat down, free, put their mat down, there will be somebody and they'll be doing different things and they will do you understand? All these are form if you see that religion, if they are worshipping God in their own God in that religion, all their moves are the moves they exactly mimic in yoga. And that's why yoga is not of God. Run away from it. Don't even smell it. Don't even go for the class for free. Why? Because it's a subtle way of luring people into the demonic world. That's why. Let me read this again. It's from Mr. Uncle Gugu. He says, Yoga, a Hindu mm -hmm. spiritual and ascetic discipline, mm. a part of which including breath control, mm. simple meditation, mm. and adaptation of specific body postures, is widely practiced for health and relaxation. Mm. And then this introduction, Yoga guys, Yo guys, sorry. yoga is essentially a spiritual discipline based on an extremely subtle science which focuses on bringing harmony between mind and body. Mm. It's an art and science of healthy living. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit root, meaning, listen, meaning to join or to yoke or to unite. I mm. would say this thing is like somebody who will say, I'm a, I'm a, and once somebody will say they are palm readers, or they are, they are, or, 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 or you know, there are some churches, they, um, they call it spiritual, the spiritualist churches. Church, yes. We are the worship demons, we are the worship they, the dead. They consult the dead and yes, they, they consult they mediums. That's why we need to be very careful. That's why even ask your children, don't do yoga classes at school. Mm. Because how come they can do yoga classes? In schools, but they cannot say, "Okay, let's do, let's Christian. pray, let's do this." That's why let your children let them know their roots. There's nothing wrong in knowing your roots, and I'm sure there are some there there are some people who are from other religion. When it comes to all this, they will say, "No, we don't do it," mm. because they know that it doesn't conform with whatever they believe, and that's why you'll be surprised too if somebody who, who you know now we're talking about religions. 
If somebody is an Hindu, a Buddhist, if you say you are praying, they will not respond because it, because it doesn't agree with them. So also as a believer, as a child of God, if any man be in Christ, then separate ye yourself. Since we not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, what has life got to do with darkness? May we not be ig may we not be sincerely ignorant and wrong. Let's read something before. Um, I go, no, those postures do not <coughs> different things in another religion, I think. Yes, yes, they denote. Don't you think that's what it does? Ever? No, I think it's a spiritual, there's a spirit behind it, although they sell it to people as religion. You see, that is, that mm -hmm. is the ideology behind it. They sell it as religion that is good for your body, your body, your body, your thinking, your soul can match together, and one that matches together, you can control your body. It's all, it's all demonic. Says no, because the problem with it so no, pro, uh, no, because the problem with it is the meditation aspect that it includes, which is spiritual acts, acts that is not Christian. Christian. Yes, and it's not Christian like. Mm, that is it. It's not it, and that is not Christian and godly of nature, of course, yeah. of course. So you see, it is wrong yeah. for a child of God, a yeah. born again, a blood washed Christian, a tongue speaking Christian, to go and do yoga. Whether for relaxation, whether for weight loss, whether for getting your posture back, whether for getting your strength back, mm. and whatever it is, it is wrong because it has to do with demonic worship, not worshiping of God. Mm. And they are bringing it in a subtle way. Yeah. Sometimes some works are, people are saying that go and do yoga. And when you're mm. tired, there's a room for yoga, go and do it, okay. and you relax and come back. All this are subtle way. Why can why why can't they say there's a Christian room that go and pray there or meditate? You understand? They will say that, but because it's of the world and they're bringing it in a mm. subtle way, and people are getting sucked up through this subtle way of yoga. May God help us and deliver us. They will not be deceived by the wind mm. of doctrine that is blowing across the world. There's a wind of false doctrine blowing across the world. May God help us in Jesus' name. And actually, that brings me to this. That's why things like acupuncture. Uh, that's what my favorite. That's okay. <laughs> things like acupuncture. Don't go near it. Oh. Mm -hmm. If you go to those places where they do it, the moment you walk in, what do you see? You see some graving images. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, even though they do it in a very civilized way, I've never been to one, and I've never been to one. Because I dream too much to be going for those kind of things. You see, they will say everything is well, but at the end of the day, by the time you look right or left, you will see those small, small gods, those small, small demons. That's why we need to be very careful where we go to. And every and please, um, born again Christians, to be careful. Mm. All these uh, tattoo parlors that people go to. If you see the real raw tattoo parlors, what are the images there? Somebody crying. You see skull. You see cross upside down. You see the, You see skeletons. If somebody is going to a place where there are scale, where there are drawings of skeleton, of somebody weeping, and you know, scary diagrams, when they sleep, those things will come and visit them. May even not visit us in Jesus' name. Yeah. And even as a place says do, it says do not mark your bodies. Of course. Electrical. So, so um, may God help us. Somebody is asking a question or put a question there, and I want to. Answer, and um, um, it says that mm, that then we shouldn't eat Chinese food. No, that's not what we are saying. Uh, talking about Chinese have their own whatever they are doing for their food. The Bible says that whether we eat or drink or whatever we do, we should do all to the glory of God. Mm. And the Bible says that even if you go to the meat market, don't ask how it came. Just buy the meat mm. and go because it's sanctified as we take. We are taking, we are doing all to the glory of God. So that doesn't affect you going to a Chinese restaurant or Chinese food. You know, when you go there, it's not that you are going to buy down to their God or obey their God. It's not that they are going to pray their prayer in their the food when you want to eat. No. When you do that, you bless the food, you go there, you eat. If it's take away, you go, take away, bless it, and you eat. As Paul says, Paul has said that in, I think, First Corinthians chapter 10. Chapter 10, it talks mm -hmm. about that extensively, you understand? So, I don't think that it doesn't affect that because it's in the Bible. Paul has told us what to do, and may God help us in the name of Jesus. 
and somebody said, okay, sorry. sorry, even this issue of food. If you go to a typical Nigerian restaurant and that know how to visit which doctors, it's just that they won't display their own. They will put their own under their pot while they are cooking, so you won't see it. If you go and buy meat from the market, if you go very early in the morning, somebody said they went to Beckham one day, and the person was not upstairs in the shop. So and the person went hello, and when he went downstairs, all the person chanting all sorts of things. So of course, the person that will always be just blessed because. Will you not buy food again? Mm. Will you not eat again? Do you know most of the hotels in the world, especially in America, those beautiful hotels are owned by mammals. So are you not going to go into hotels? Of course, those things, you have to bless it, but you won't actually carry yourself to say, come on now. Okay, look at the, like the issue of the tomb. Let you cost 1928. Ye shall not mark any curtains in your flesh for the mm. dead, nor print or tattoo any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Mm. So that's why we need to be very careful what we are doing to our body. You know when we are doing anything, or wherever you choose, that's why somebody said today, he said the, the greatest thing God did for any man is freedom. He has given us the freedom to mm. do anything. But one thing I know is this, anything we do, there are, there are consequences. consequences. And may God help us. May we not be sincerely wrong in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. I want to say something. You know, every one of us, especially in the UK, and in Europe, uh, Europe and UK, majority, majority in UK, do you know the meat we eat is killed by a religion whereby they do their incantation of or course. do their word over it, and mm -hmm. and that's why they call it halal meat. You understand? And they put it there as halal meat, mm -hmm. killed under the rights of their halal meat. You understand? So I will never be of that. We're not going to buy meat again and eat meat because of that. When we buy it, we sanitify it. And satisfied, and we eat as Paul said. Why well, don't question, don't query about just buy what you want to buy and go away and go and eat it mm -hmm. and wash it again. And do all to the glory of God is satisfied already. So may God help us in the name of Jesus. So you are not saying don't go to a Chinese person, you're not saying don't go to shop, you're not saying don't go to and um, buy things, but what I'm saying is that don't don't like yoga. Yoga is something that you take yourself to do and practice. It's a, a an act of practice. Yeah. You're not practicing when you're going to go and buy Chinese food or when you're going to go and buy alamit or whatever. You're not you're just going there buying it and going away. But when you, you are taking yourself to yoga and you are doing it, and that's why it's very, very, very dangerous. So may God help us in the name of Jesus. Somebody is saying, I don't see anything wrong with acupuncture. Mm -hmm. So I now put origin of acupuncture. Thank God for Uncle Gugu. He said, hmm. I, I said, I said, what religion is acupuncture from? Hmm. It says, Twa Tao Taoism, hmm. also spelled as Taoism, an ancient religion system. Hmm. So it says, an ancient religious system that originated in China over 2,000 years ago. Taoism exact origin as a thought system accomplice. But by 300 BC, its doctrine are codified in the Tao Te Ching, which is still considered to be the primary text of Taoism. And I'm sure if I actually go further and begin to look at the meaning of Taoism, and I, would, I think I will try. <laughs> but you see, it's good to, look, to it's good. know all these things. It's because my people are destroyed for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. You know, you know what I'm asking because <laughs> when you look at the world today, um, they call uh, something. Is it age religion or something religion that is? Uh, Taking Taoism. over in a subtle way, Taoism. and people don't know it's a new age religion. That's not a new age religion. It's taking over in a subtle way, and this is people God. in the subtle way. That's why you see they are not bringing things that are demonic. In they are they are they are reducing the fear of it, and and not but not allowing people mm. to know mm. how mm. they are trapped mm. in it, mm. and they are trapped in it, and people are not demonical. They are de they are oppressed by demons. They are pressed by problems and they, they are wondering where is the source, not knowing that it's what they have done. They have brought because let me tell you something if you don't open the door for the devil, you will not come in. All these things are opening doors for demons to visit people's homes or houses or lives, and that's why it's very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, um, acupuncture, I said, let's look at the origin, and then Mr. Google said it's connected to Taoism. So, and now Google Taoism. Listen carefully. It says, Buddhist, it says, Buddhism's absolute end is nirvana, the highest state of spiritual bliss, free from pain and mm. suffering. 
the Taoist way of life is focused on aligning oneself to the natural way of cosmos, mm. while the Buddhist is on understanding and surpassing pain and suffering through leading a moral life. So the two are connected. Mm. Every time somebody is going for acupuncture, indirectly they are linking with the Buddhist. Google it when you have time and read more. Read that. What if the acupuncturist has a master's and has been a doctor for 40 years? Hey, it doesn't say now. It means, my God, look, a witch doctor. I remember when I was in uni in Nigeria, Unifel, the chancellor, he was a, he was a, hey, what's English word for, for Babalawo? English word. Native doctor. He was a native doctor. Or if I worship a worshiper of a deity, he worship a deity, and yet this man he has is a professor of blah 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 blah. I guess it comes from social sciences because in that area. I don't even know, That's but he was from. the chancellor of Uganda. I've, I've forgotten his name now. He was the he was the cha he was the vice chancellor of one of the greatest universities in Nigeria in those days, and yet. That's, he has that's, more that's, degrees. That's a woman opinion. Okay, that's yes. Good. You see, he has more <laughs> degrees than a thermometer. By the end of the day, he's in the occultic. So it doesn't matter what anybody, even if somebody will have 50 degrees like a thermometer, it does not matter. The most important is, the most important thing is we are in their heart. That's why we need to be very careful. Anything these days, thank God for Uncle Google. Anything you don't understand, Google it. Anything you want to know the meaning, Google it. You say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I used to know a sister years ago. She is an expert in going for all this acupuncture and the rest of them. When she comes for deliverance, eh, you yourself you will run. The way she will break everything, she will scatter everything. The person you will be wanting. And then one day I say, why? And then one day got to, she was telling me that she used to go for all these things. I said, all oh, these things that the one bewitching your life will run for your dear life. That's why be careful what you do with your life. Be careful the place. Our friends, that's out there. There are many subtle. You know, the Bible talks about the last day that demon, mm. demons will come in a subtle way and bring ideas and ideology, mm. and ideologies and all this. And these are ways by which, because you see, if a demon appears or comes, or if something comes, in, in, in the effect of the consequences, nobody will join. Mm -hmm. But they have to bring it, you know, it's like, um, 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 like, uh, like in, in my country, or even in, in Africa, there's, what, there's a medication we call Nivaquin. It's very, very bitter. If it touches your tongue like this, you almost throw up. Mm -hmm. So what do, you, what do people do on it, the pharmacists? They coat it with something sweet. Yeah. They coat it so that by the time you touch your tongue, it's too sweet and you swallow it so you don't feel the bitterness. But when it's the tummy now, you know, the sweetness goes away and the bitterness comes, even though you don't feel it. That's exactly how subtle these things are. Mm. The, it is it is coated with something good, but the consequences and what is inside is very, very, mm. very dangerous. That's why you see one must be very very careful as to things you know don't be over curious to say i want to know this and know that what are you doing let me just go there and peep and see and come back mm -hmm. sometimes it's very dangerous to peep because you know people sell their soul to the devil without knowing yeah. people sell their destiny to the devil without yeah. knowing people are in a subtle way they are allowing demons into their oh, lives without knowing and that's why you see one needs to be careful about all this. Another question I want to ask. Sorry, before you go uh, past, do you know in Nigeria, now the herbalist, they package well. You see all these uh, acupuncture, whatever, whatever, their people are doing because they've been civilized for a very long I'm time. Well so they have packaged themselves. Now they put everything inside the box, you know, with, you know. Now in, now in uh, Nigeria too, herbalists too, they are wearing suits with nice cologne and by the time they will give you whatever they want to give you they can even put it in a nice box with a we know with with the address and telephone so you can pass it on everybody's packaging now that's why we have to be very careful you know in acupuncture sometimes <coughs> when they put the needle and some people they have what they burn sometimes they burn it off you understand mm -hmm. what they're burning off is an incense mm -hmm. who do you think they are burning the incense to that demons who do you think and when a pin is in somebody or whatever they want to call it and they're burning the upper part incense 
to that. What what are they inviting into that body? What do you think will happen to that body? That the incense God. is burning, and then you know the Bible talks about incense of the saints, prayers of the saints, and incense and going before God. So that incense, <coughs> where do you think it's going? And when demons are smelling that incense, My what do you think will happen to the person that the pain is in there mm -hmm. through the burning of the incense? I will leave you to. I will leave you to answer that by yourselves. We shouldn't be. That's why you see sometimes we tell people that. What you wear also matters. Somebody's wearing something that has a skull on it mm -hmm. and has a cross. You understand? Now, when an angel sees it, what would an angel do? Walk away. But when a demon sees it, what do you think a demon would do? We are attracted so, to we, we demons. Are because these are signs. There are some signs. There are some emblems. There are some signs. There are some. There are some. There are some. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. There are some things that images images that are calling demons. Now, for example, now when you use a cross, even though you on the cross again. Who are you trying to represent? At least send them. Send it Jesus. To. Now, when somebody puts a score or whatever, uh, or, a or a ring, mermaid, or a, a ring, ring that has the sign of a snake, thank you. Very you who, sleep with it day and night. You are putting on a snake. DC. Um, the who, God deliver us. Who do you us. think you are inviting? When the owner of that image sees the image on that individual mm -hmm. what do you think the owner of that image will do to that person put it on the image that is an open invitation open door open door and open and that's why you see you we'll be careful of what you are wearing of what you are putting on of the hairstyle we have or all these things we may be saying that okay it doesn't it doesn't mean it means because mm -hmm. when you are calling when you are putting marks on yourself that shows or calls demons and powers then whom do you belong mm. to? You are feeling that you belong to them. That's why it's very important. May God help us in Jesus' name. For instance, somebody wants to buy perfume and you go and buy ghosts. There's a perfume called ghosts. <laughs> that one, I... No, it's okay. true. What would okay. the person be saying? <coughs> somebody wants to buy perfume as a man. You you go and buy seduction. Pastor, that one, uh, okay. Pastor, let's get real. <laughs> you want to buy perfume, you are buying seduction. Okay, oh, seduction. If God is not taking that person will just be misbehaving unknowingly. See, why am I misbehaving? Because you have opened your door to the devil. You see, the Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. May we not be ignorantly. I don't want to, I don't want to use the word. Hmm. Let me use wrong. May we not be ignorantly wrong. May God help us. That's why we have to be very careful. May God help and deliver us in Jesus' name. And God will pour us. <clears throat> and nobody has a question. There was there's another question I want to ask. <clears throat> about this one also is um, chanting and meditation is it good for Christians? <laughs> chanting and meditation. What kind of chanting are we talking so, about? You know, sometimes they say that go for meditation, you close your eyes, <coughs> you cross your legs, you cross your arms, and you meditate and you begin to feel free yes. as a board, see yourself as a board, see yourself as whatever animal you want to see yourself, and you begin to mirror image that animal in you. Now, is that appropriate for a child of God to do? Chanting and meditation. Or meditation, just use the meditation. Meditation. You know, chanting because some people are just chanting and chanting away. They think it's the right thing. Chanting is not the same thing as speaking in tongues. It's different. So don't mix chanting with speaking in tongues. So is it appropriate for a child of God to begin to go and do meditation and close their eyes and begin to see mm. things and begin to wonder is it is it appropriate for a child of God to do that? I like this. It's, it's true. Other religions will never buy cross pendant from you, no matter how beautiful it is. Of course now. Have you ever seen people of other religion wearing a cross before? They know who it belongs to. They Have you ever seen them wearing a cross before? They, they know who, who they know who it belongs to. To know that listen to this this reality of life. To know how powerful a cross is. Red cross is based on Christendom, you know, Red Cross. And they do good all over the world. When they wanted to enter the Middle East, what do you think happened? They said that they cannot call it Red Cross. They mm. had to use a crescent. Mm. They call it Red Sometime. I forgot what they call mm. it. But they don't call it Red Cross in the Middle East or Muslim countries. They call it that they, they don't use the cross, they use crest because they don't want to use what represents Christendom in their kingdom. So they changed the Red Cross. To, their, to a crescent. They call them red, I can forget what they call them, but they don't call them Red Cross in the Middle East and Co. They call them something else. And they don't put the Red Cross. You know, Red Cross has a cross, cross of Christ. But they use a crescent. Why? Because the Vida Cross belongs to Christians. 
and they cannot use what belongs to Christians, even though they buy the ideology. Yeah. But they don't buy the cross. Why? Because that represents something. So they have mm. to use something. So if in the world people mm. are rejecting that, and people who call themselves Christians are accepting Everything. ornaments and signs and images that belong to other gods, then what are we to do as Christians? That is a, a food for thought for all of us. You are a Christian, you are putting on skull, you are putting on a pirate, you are putting on... So if somebody goes, you are a Christian, you go and do man-made tattoo on hey, your body. You understand? So people, you even see them, they do cross upside down Jesus. on their body. You know the meaning of all this? And people just, just say, it's a tattoo. It's not a tattoo. All these things have meaning. And that's why you see, Christians need to be careful because the world, the new age, the new age, the new age religion is turning things upside down. Mm -hmm. And it's a demonic force doing it, but they're coming in a sort of way as religion, soft religion, but when people enter it, it is trouble. May God help us in Jesus' name. Can somebody go to Mecca with a big cross on his or her neck? Not possible. They will lynch the person. Not possible. They will tell you, look, this is a religious city. Yes, you sir. cannot enter, even anyway, even from the airport. Hmm. So that's why we need to be very careful. You know, you were talking about meditation. Hmm. A Christian can meditate. Psalm 1 verse 2 course, says, yeah. But his delight is in the law of the law. Hmm. And on his law, he meditates day and, and night. night. Even um, Isaac, when they saw him, when uh, Eliezer went to get his, is he Eliezer no? um, Abraham's servant went to greet um, Rebecca for him. Yes, While yes. Rebecca was coming, the Bible says he was in the fields meditating. meditating. Of course, so yes. as a child of God, we can meditate, but you need to be careful what you are on meditating on. Says, Psalm 1 2. But is the law is in the law of the law, and in the law, they are not. Joshua 1 it says, The book of the law must not depart from your mouth. He says, on but you shall meditate, meditate on, on it day. day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all these. So it all depends on what you want to meditate on. That's, that's it, why sorry, do you know I have one belief? If you are meditating on the things of God, you will have good, you will have good, uh, good, good dreams. And if somebody is medica meditating on the other things, for you to know that man is a spirit being. I'm in uni and I've been reading, 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 reading. Do you know I'm sleeping? I'm dreaming about what I've been reading, about the about yeah. about the work. Yeah, and I say, God, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that mm. the way God wired human beings, what you get involved in, you tend to actually. How will I put it now? And I'm thinking, come on now. There are better dreams to dream about. Why are you dreaming about school work now? See, that's why you see. That's why I wanted to say the word. Christians meditate, but the word uses meditation, yeah. and that's why I use the word meditation. That is meditation is mm. it part and parcel of Christendom. You can meditate on the word of God, yes, but there's what we call meditation, and that meditation in quotes is not meditating on things of God. Mm. It's meditating, and your mind is wandering. They say you free yourself from things of the world, mm. of the hatchet of the world. You free your mind and you meditate. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to get annoyed, mm. just go into the meditation mood mood mm. and then the annoyance will subside and then you'll be a free person all these are acts of demonic worship mm. and surrendering the soul to demonic uh, entrance and suppression and oppression mm -hmm. and that's why you see we must be careful as i put that the other meditation is brainwashing which is brainwashing mm -hmm. but it's also a dangerous way of brainwashing because it gets people hooked they will they, they tell some people that look if you're on drugs and you want to be free then try meditation mm. truly, truly that person may, may be free but you know what something it's greater is coming on the person why because the means you used to be mm. free is demon because demons don't free anybody they don't release anybody the bible said that when the spirit leaves a man the seven worst spirit comes eight mm. in the man and the worst state the but the later state the later state is worse than the first and that's why you must be very careful of, of all this. The devil has no free thing to give. So go help us in Jesus' name. Um, Philippians, 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 Philippians 4, it says, Philippians 4, it says, it says, Finally, brothers, and that will include the sisters too. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, mm. whatever is right, Whatever is pure, mm. whatever is lovely, yes. whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think on these things. 
as children of God, we are to meditate on the word of God. Not, we are not even supposed to be meditating on our problems. Because what is meditation? It's when you sit down, you begin to think about something, you think about something, you process it, you think, you think, you think, you think, you process. No, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing. It's the Bible says that we should meditate on the word of God. And may God help us in Jesus' name. That's why Christians meditate yeah. on the word of God. But in the outside world, they do meditation. That's the difference. Christians meditate on the word of God, but the outside world they do meditation, you understand? And that's a serious act of demonic subtleness. Mm. Whereby people don't understand that they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are exploring this, the demonic realm unknowingly. Mm. And I tell you, there will be consequences and repercussions for people after they've done all this meditation, all this chanting, when they're sleeping, they see themselves traveling out of body yeah. and going to places they cannot control and they begin to wonder. Why? Because you have opened the door to these types of meditation. That's why mm. Christians must not even go near it. Either Be meditation careful. or chanting or whatever you want to mm. call it. Mm. There are subtle ways of in, in, inducting and inducing people into the demonic realm. And may God deliver us in the name of Jesus. Mm. May God deliver us. Someone says, your, soft, your subconscious, you sub subconsciously think about things to focus on. That's meditation. Yeah. Meditation. And that is, you see, that is not with the way Christian does it. The way a child of God does it is different from this worldly way. They tend to teach you how to do it, how to control your mind, mm. your thoughts, how to keep your thought and mind, mm. how to focus your thought and mind on mm. one particular thing, and how to begin to see strange things that you are not supposed to see and double into things you are not supposed to double in. Mm. And these things have great consequences. consequences. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That's why right. people have been in the occultic before. I've not, I've not been in the occultic before. People have been in the occultic before. Do you know they have out of body experience? That is it now. They will be sleeping in their house and they are somewhere else. That's why I used to joke. When they would say, ah, somebody who uh, slept, oh, then they fell off the bed and then they died. I say, ah, it's because when they were to land, they landed on the wrong tarmac. <laughs> mm -hmm. When they were flying from Mitty, they landed on the wrong tarmac. That's why some people will see those there, they slept, and by the time they wake up in the morning, they're on the floor. Something because they landed wrongly. May we not be going into out of body experience. Do you know I've seen somebody who was elderly years ago, and the person was discussing with me. He said, Do you know that when he was young, he used to fly? I said, You are a wizard, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's called body, heart of body experience. People have all sorts of strange experience. That's why when you, that's why God forbid bad thing. If anybody will see themselves when they are sleeping, they are just swimming, swimming, swimming with fish. Hey, if they are not swimming, they are flying. If they are not flying, they are with, they are, they are in one meeting with people who are wearing that. Ah, cry out, oh, and say, hey, I need deliverance. I need them. Don't say, ah, okay, uh, I think uh, you're enjoying the thing. Don't enjoy it, oh. Scream out so that, because little by little, people will be going deeper and deeper and deeper. You know the difference between Christians having a dream and out of body experience? Mm. When a Christian has a dream, they come back and whatever, they are safe. But when somebody goes out of body experience, that's why you see those who do out of body experience, mm. they are in their room, they lock the door. Do because what happens is that if the body is positioned in in a figure, in a shape, or in a in a position, they must come back with the body in that same position. If the body has moved, they, they, can, never, problem. they can never enter again. They are dead. And that is the issue with out of body experience. That's why those who do it, they lock themselves up. They are in their room and they sleep in a certain way so that nothing will move them because they know if the body moves and uh, differently from when they flew away, they are not entering the body again and they are dead. And that's the difference between out of body experience and a Christian having a dream. That's mm. why it's safer to be a Christian than thinking mm. when a person is flying, they hope their body is still in the place, so they hope that nobody has struck them and they land somewhere mm. and they cannot enter the body again. And that would be the end. That's why they begin to mm. roam around, roam around, roam around, and the body is dead. Mm. They cannot enter back into the body. Why? Because of the out of body. There's nothing like out of body experience in Christendom. Mm. There's no, no such thing in Christendom. There's no, we have not read in the Bible. Even when Elisha was selling gears, my spirit went with you. He was still there talking. Not that, so he had a vision that God opened his eyes and he saw when mm. he saw. Not that he was sitting somewhere and he went with gears and he saw and quickly came back before they asked him. No, he, it was not out of body experience. It's 
vision. You can see a vision. That's why upside down is the easiest. You can see a vision when you're sitting down and you're not afraid and you will get back. But when it's out of body experience, that fear is there, mm -hmm. whereby they are not certain if they can enter back the body into the body if the body moves by any chance. And I go ahead, person, just. And you know those things are real. Don't let anybody say, "Oh, there's nothing like that." Uh, really, those things are real. I know two examples. Remember when I was in secondary school? The moment is twelve midnight. There's this sister, you know, because I went to boarding school. When it's midnight. Normally she will put um she will put um like a bed sheet. Right, you know we have bunk beds, so she's at the, I would never forget those things. She's at the bottom. She will she will put um um bed sheet around her bed. When it's twelve midnight, eh, the way those those sheets will be moving as if there's this big wind, you know. But you know this will just be, it's not our business. Look, those things are real. And when I was in uni. I used to go and greet one of my friends in her room. There's one sister in the afternoon. The way she will sleep in one this awkward, serious, scary, looking position. And you know, normally you know girls when we are in the room will be making noise. She won't wake up oh, until she comes back from my out of body experience. May God help us. That's why we keep saying, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wise of the devil. To the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. You know, I was telling church people, I said, I noticed in my neighborhood, and this is a true story. The moment is, I think, 1 30. 1 30, the dog will be backing, 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 backing. One day, man. One season, I said, Pastor Chris, come. I said, look at the time, 1.30. The thing we back, back, I said, some demons are passing around. And maybe they are, I don't know whether I'm going to meet him. And then the time they change the clock, you know when they change the clock, it will be 2.30. I'm telling you, this dog will start backing again, 2.30. So whether in January or the one, the one it is 1.30 or at least that exact time or 2.30, the dog will back, back, back. And I say, ah, somebody, and I say, look, oh, let nobody fly across this place. Whoever will fly across this place, eh, I will pray for them that they will land. They will not land properly on their tarmac. They will crash land. They will crash land. <laughs> <laughs> That's why right. they're strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Why are we saying this, you know? Uh, the Bible says that we should expose the works of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are many Christians who are watching, who will watch this program in the future, mm -hmm. and they will not realize that what they are about to double into is a it's subtle demonic. way of demonic worship. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are exposing mm -hmm. all this. Especially for the children who are coming up now. Ah, you know, there are many, many, many things in school. They teach mm -hmm. them so many different religions. They teach them this and all that. And I know, I believe that it will even get worse that they mm -hmm. will be teaching witchcraft and all that in school. And that's why our children must be knowledgeable. That's why you as a parent, you must let your children know about all these things. Mm. That all these things are forms of demonic worship. Yes. They should not move near it or go near mm -mm. it. And they should only trust and believe in Christ and Jesus only. And may God deliver us and help Amen. us. Jesus. There are many strange things out there. Why? Because mm. the new world order, the new age, the God new religions are coming in with full force mm. to, to overshadow every other religion. And they are mm. bringing it in a subtle way that people will not know it's a religion, but it will be a religion. Why do you think in Europe they are trying to kill Christianity in Europe? They are trying because they want to bring their thing over and override I every other thing. It's a demonic plan in the spiritual realm. God in the Bible is even there's a demonic plan in the spiritual realm whereby they want to overshadow, but God will not allow that. And that's why we must be careful as Christians so that we will not be taken away by all the subtle way of the enemy. The Bible says that the enemy, our enemy, pulls around like a roaring lion. When a lion mm. is roaring look, and, and roaming around, does it roar? No, it doesn't. A mm. lion doesn't ro roar. It doesn't. It does. It, it, the 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 antelope, the deer, the goat, they will not even know that there's a lion Those around. Those ones will be roaming around carelessly. Yeah, they will not know that there's a mm. lion around, are about to pouch on them. And that's how the enemy does. He comes mm. in a subtle way. Mm. They will not even know the lion is there. Mm. And suddenly we pass on them and 
catch one and kill one and that will be the end and that is what the world is doing now with this new age new world new religion new everything they are coming in a subtle way and anyone who gets entrapped in their power there will be no escape that's why you see Take your stand very well so that you don't be deceived in the world. And may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 26, 41 says, Matthew 26, 41 says, Watch and, and pray. pray. Yes, Many years ago when I used to run a shop, one day I was in the shop. Even two, two, two examples. I, I used to work in the, um, I used to run a shop. And then two people came in, I mean on different occasions. One came in. And normally, you know, they will come with them. They will come to the shop. They will chat with me. I will be playing my music. And then one day, I will never forget, one of them came, a man, he came with a Bible, red Bible. He said, oh, I want to give you a gift. I said, oh, thank you. And he said, oh, I was about to stretch my hand. I said, excuse me, which, which one is that? He said, Mammon Bible. Oh, I said, no, thank you. I'm a born again Christian. Another one came in. Mm. That one was a man. This one is a woman. Another one came in one day, a woman. And she came with nice, beautiful flowers. I would say sunflower flower. Came like that. I said, oh, uh, sister, I like you. I want to give you these uh, oh. these flowers. Very beautiful. I said, I was about to stretch my hand. I said, excuse me, where is this thing from? He said, from our altar. I said, no, thank you. I don't take flowers from altars. I am born again Christian. Mm. That's why I watch and pray. Oh, be careful. One day, one sister told me a true story. She said she used to do care. Then she went for care. Listen, you. and I think she was doing uh, this um, domiciliary, uh, domiciliary care where somebody was going to somebody's house. And that sister went in, many years ago, went to the house and said the woman she was taking care of brought out a tin of uh, sweet. I said, oh, do you want the sweet? And she said, yes. And then she took one. She put it in her mouth. And then she said, the moment she put it in her mouth, the woman who gave her the sweet said, do you know I'm a witch? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what she did to herself that day. Hmm. Can you imagine? That's why the Bible says we need to be, we need to be, we, we, we must have the standing of spirit. There are yes. many subtle things out there that can lure people into witchcraft, into voodoo, into danger. That's why you, that's why you don't just go into a ministry. Before you go into a ministry, Check it out spiritually. Check it out. Make sure that we're not walking into a spiritualist church. We are the worship the dead. Hmm. You need to be careful. May God help us in Jesus and may God have mercy on us in Jesus. Amen. Name. Let's meet what we have today. As I said, we just, you know, as I would say, we should expose the works of the enemy mm -hmm. so that we will not be entangled in the works of the mm -hmm. enemy. Just as Peter was exposing the works of this by Jesus and said, You could get Satan, you could get messenger mm -hmm. of Satan and that. And he caused him, and you know what? He told and that man was here, please pray that none of this will, will, will happen to him, you understand? Mm. So we need to expose the works of yes. the enemy. Just as in Acts 19, also, I believe Acts 19, where the Bible says that they all began to devour and put away their magic books and burn all of them, mm. their magic arts and everything, you see? And this is the things we need to do. That's now, powerful. you see, in those days, mm. the Bible said they burnt it. I think mm. it's Acts 19. Acts 19. They burnt it and did that. Now, the Bible said they burnt it, they burnt, they burnt it. Now, churches today must be careful because the churches today are not burning, they are embracing it. That is different. Yes. They are embracing oh, yes. these things. Anything. You see, and that's why we need to be careful. Mm. In the days of Paul, they, said they brought it, they counted the money was about 50, is it 15 or 50,000? So it's silver something. Very expensive money. And they burnt all of them. Mm. Today, if care is not taken, churches are not burning them, but they are embracing them. They are even Inco giving them mic. They are incorporating them into their services. And that's how you see, mm. one must be very, very careful. May God uphold us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And please, Amen. I want to beg you, you are a pastor. One day you become a pastor. You don't give the mic to everybody that will appear before your pulpit because they are giving you money. I'm not used to truth. Oh. Now, where I came from in Nigeria, now anybody can have a seat, anybody can sit on the altar, anybody can hold the mic because they can give 10 million to one ministry. We should all be careful. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's go to what we have today. I believe that that's the question time, and I believe that we have all been blessed and God will uphold us. In the name amen. of Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. You know, we are dealing with 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. 1 Corinthians 10, 10, 12, 10 now. To another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, which we've done, and to another, the distinction between spirits, which we've done. That's what they're talking about. We need the summit of spirit. Yeah. And to another, speaking in various tongues. 
that's where we are. And speaking in real time, we said that tongue speaking is very, very important yeah. in the life of a child of God. Mm -hmm. It empowers you, it gives you hope, it builds your spiritual body, it makes you to mm -hmm. have communication mm -hmm. and, and, and contact with the Spirit of mm -hmm. God. It's, the Holy Ghost in you is talking to the Spirit of God in heaven, mm -hmm. and there's a direct communication between you and God. And that's why it's also it's very important for us to speak in tongues also because it builds us up on our most holy faith. Yeah. So that's why the speaking in tongues is very important for every child of God mm -hmm. out there. It helps you and it upholds you. Now, how do you move? The question is that that's what someone wants to be doing. How can a child of God move from just speaking in tongues to various tongues? Speaking in tongues to various tongues. Mm -hmm. How can you shift and move from just speaking in tongues? To various tongues because the Bible says the gifts is speaking in various tongues, yeah. not just one type of tongue. So it's various tongues. So how can a child of God move from speaking in tongues to speaking in various tongues? How can we graduate? But it's very important for a child of God to do that, not just one tongue. And tongue is not something that's another for another day. It's not something you mimic or copy. Mm -hmm. And my pastor will talk. Pala 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 pala. So let me talk. Pala 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 pala. So that's what I'm speaking to. And all you're saying, pala 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 pala. Mila 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 mila. Speaking in tongues okay. is not like you see like that. You understand? It doesn't work. That we can pray the same prayer in understanding. But when it speaks, when it comes to speaking in tongues, the Bible says in the book of Acts two, they had them speaking their languages. The people that the Bible mentioned there was, were not less than were not less than maybe 20 people that the Bible began to list, 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 list. So all of them spoke in various tongues that they understood what they were speaking in their own language. Mm -hmm. So that is various tongues. So how can a child of God graduate from just speaking in tongues to speaking in various tongues? Well, I would say um, while we're waiting for people to mm, answer, yes. To answer. Normally, um, when somebody is receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit, mm. some people will only receive just one syllable, two, and some people will actually receive quite a lot, you know. And then, as um, we, whichever level you receive at the first baptism, it is what you do with what you have that is what it determine. That is that is what will determine what will happen to you. If you, when you are praying, you speak in tongues, you know, it's, it's like a language, you, yes, it's a language, heavenly language. You begin to speak in tongues, the more, the more the speaking in tongues will increase, it will increase, it will increase. It, yes, there will be increase in that. Um, speaking in tongues. Yes, in the speaking in tongues. But if maybe somebody will receive the person of the Holy Ghost five years ago, and they only spoke in tongues at that time, and when they are praying, they never exercise that speaking in tongues, it's going to be, it will be even at times the thing will even go. I think people say, Oh, Pastor, I used to speak in tongues. I said, Look, it's still there. It's because you don't use it yes. when you are praying. I say, Okay, yeah. And then I say, Come on, let's pray. And by that, we hold hands and we begin to pray. They are speaking in tongues. I say, As from today, when you are praying, make sure you pray in the Holy Ghost too. Because the more you speak, the more you God. But the Pastor says, He speaks in tongues more than everybody no else. Hmm. So you can start, so speaking in tongues is very important. So one of the ways by which you can increase it yeah. is by using it continuously. Yeah. That is one of that there's no and the more you use it, the more the Holy Ghost will now fill you yes. with different and various tongues. But when you don't use it, it's like any gifts that God has given to you, the Holy Ghost gifts, if the more you use it, the more you will expand mm. and be enlarged in it and you understand the more. And the lesser the less you use it, the lesser you you are in that gift. So the speaking in tongues is 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 mm. can grow it and have videos of it by constantly speaking in tongues. That wow. is the only way. I want to say by by praying more. Yes, yeah. by praying more. By praying more, by praying more. When you do that, that's the way you can expand and increase your speaking in tongues. Because the gift, and the more you use it, the more the Holy Ghost will give you various kinds of tongues. I can speak in various kinds of tongues. And that is why we need to do it. Now, my question. Sorry, before you go to your question, it's just a, a statement. I wrote it here. Gift of tongue triggers the engine for the gifts of the Spirit. That is when you are speaking in tongues, it will trigger other things that God wants to do in our life. That's the gift 
is the engine that is ignition that is turns turns the engine on triggers all other gifts and that interpretation so may god help us amen amen mm -hmm. so how can a christian how can a christian incorporate speaking in tongues in their prayer life you're not used to it how can a christian i'm telling you i'm asking this question that's because true, how true. can a christian mm -hmm. incorporate speaking in tongues into their prayer life mm -hmm. is this something they force is this no. something they i think they, ah, I think they, i didn't speak in tongues so let me reverse lord i'm going to speak in tongues so how can a child of god incorporate speaking in tongues in mm -hmm. their prayer life without faking it without forcing it without mimicking it mm -hmm. because if you cannot take it you say you want to force you want to pray in tongues by four by four and not be prompted that is talking you are not mimicking it or faking it you are not mimicking it mimicking it somebody says thank you very much by reading your bible yes, praying and that. fasting thank you very much yeah. so how can a child of god um and incorporate speaking in tongues to their own private prayers when they're praying to god how can they well i would say you just go to god the way you go to god is god is our father you go boldly before the throne and then we start praying as you start praying there will be there will be will i say there will be an ignition mm. and you just start speaking in tongues and it depends on how you do your prayers how the holy ghost will lead you but the bottom line is you must somebody said god help us. you see but the bottom line is you have to bring yourself to the place of prayer and say, God, oh, I need more of you. Oh. As you begin to pray. That's why anytime we go before God in prayers, we must ask for more of God. Yes. The Bible says um, in Acts 1, it, ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Ephesians 6 says, it says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his man. We want to be powerful Christians. We want to be everything that God has called us to be. It is not, because it starts with you having a life of prayer mm. that is you must have the i don't can i use the word culture now i have the is there a problem to use the word culture yes i think you have the culture of, to, to. that is that is what you do every day that is prayer is your lifeline and i'm telling you and in case you are watching that but i don't speak in tongues it's so simple just going to like um John 7, 37, and Jesus stood in the wilderness and cried, If any man test, let him come. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You read that Bible, and then um, Luke, I think Luke, is it Luke 11, 9 to 13? You, then you open your Bible, you read it, your heart is there, and when nobody has to lay hands on you, you know, you read your Bible and say, Father, I am here. The Bible says, And this sign shall flow them that believe. I am here. I want to speak in tongues too. And you pray with faith in your heart, you'll be surprised. You'll be speaking in tongues. And then every time you go to God in prayers, you continue. Now let me say something. If you pray, because I know that people have these problems and issues. Mm -hmm. If you pray and you don't speak in tongues, it's not it's not, it's not, it's not incorporating your prayers. After you finish praying, have a time that every time you finish praying, you speak in tongues. That will help you. Yeah. That will, that will help me. Because as you know, I've told you before, I wasn't so much crazy about speaking in tongues until after a while I understand. So and usually when I even if you see my prayers, I hardly speak in tongues. Because, because except, you're not used to I'm not used to it, except I'm being prompted by the Holy Ghost. So what I do in my own private prayer, after I finish praying, I find my time. So okay. For the next five minutes, seven minutes, I will speak in tongues. One minute, I speak in tongues, and I speak in tongues, I speak in tongues, and then stop. And so, and that's how I am helping, and that's how I've been helping myself all along. I'm using myself as an example to understand. So because some people out there, they may pray and say, I don't speak in tongues when I pray. It happened to me, understand? So, and that's why I'm giving myself an example that, using myself an example that, after you finish praying, Father, you just, you just say my prayer, Amen. Then stop, then begin to speak in tongues. Mm. Either for one minute, or for three minutes, for five minutes or for seven minutes or for as long as you can go start somewhere and that's how you can incorporate speaking in mm -hmm. tongues into the things you do and that's how we can help because speaking in tongues is very very important it grows the spiritual man it grows people Jude that, 24 yeah, people that know me even in church know that i had to speak in tongues but you see sometimes the priest will prompt me to speak in tongues yes or when there is uh, a need to interpret tongues then i may speak in tongues if it will lead but usually, even in my prayer, whether prophetic or 
multiple prayers. Mm. You know, so it does that it's wrong, but I'm not used to it. But what I do afterwards, after praying, is that okay, I now find time to speak in tongues and help myself. And you can do that also if you forget speaking in tongues, it doesn't come because I sometimes I don't have the urge to speak in tongues when I'm praying. Why? Because I'm not used to I'm not saying it's wrong, don't get me wrong, you can do it, but personally, I'm talking about my own personal example, and I know that people out there like me, after I finish praying, just speak in tongues for a few minutes, mm-hmm. and that will help you to grow in the Lord. Amen. I believe that. And you see, some people with different experience, of course. but the bottom line is, everybody must endeavor, Yes, sir. go to God, Father, I must not be left out of, mm-hmm. I must speak in tongues. And you see, to receive this, um, and to be baptized, really? it's just like that. And no, honestly, there's nothing hard about it. You see, many things because, because by grace, people will come and say, Oh, I don't speak in tongues. Some people, by the time you say, well, um, Come on, let's pray now. They're going yeah. to say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then by the time, Pam, within one minute, Pam. And there are some people, 30 minutes, they are still there. And, and you'll be saying, ah, Open your heart. He's very simple. That's why, anytime you go to God, we must open our heart. And in case you speak in tongues before, and now you don't speak in tongues again. Do you know one of the reasons, and, and what? Well, would, I would explain to people that I've seen. If people have been speaking in tongues before and they stop speaking in tongues, go and check their prayer life. They have not been constant in, in their praying. If you, if you speak in tongues one year ago or two years ago, and today you are not speaking in tongues again, go and check your prayer life. It means you are not constant in prayer. Mm. Because if you are constant in prayer, ah, because the Bible says, out of our belly flow. shall flow rivers of living water. That's why it is important for us. Because you see, and it's not a thing you force. It's not how mm-hmm. uh, you say, oh, uh, Pastor, pray for me. I want to speak in tongues. And I'll say, say after me, Milo, 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 Milo. Shakatu, 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 shakatu. There is nothing like that. Mm-hmm. It will come naturally. Naturally, mm-hmm. it is from God. And you see, and you see, when we speak in tongues, do you know it's for our own good? Because every time we speak in tongues, we are building a spiritual man. And I'm telling you, we are speaking mystery unto God. So this says that it comes automatically, which yeah. is true, by fasting, prayers, and moving closer to God, of course. When you invite the Holy Ghost to lead you in your prayers, yes, yes it comes naturally as you pray from your heart and, and deeply. deeply. It comes naturally. Yeah. Now, let me ask this and run up with this. And then next week we go on to um, interpretation of tongues. Is it possible in a church for some members to have the same speaking in tongues as their pastors, as their pastor? Is it possible in a church for the church members to have the same speaking in tongues, let me use that word, speaking in tongues as their pastor? The same frequency, almost the same with the saint and all that. Mm-hmm. Is it possible for church members to have the same so that when the pastor is speaking in tongues, they are speaking the same tongue, they are speaking the same tongue, and they are speaking the same tongues. Is that possible in a church or in a service? Well, that you, see, that, that you see, that question is a complex one, and I'll tell you one. I know here some people they have actually abused this kind of speaking in tongues. Everybody saying just one thing, the whole church. That one, I'm saying, mm. but you know, my own experience is this if I listen to a preacher that I love. For some few days, by the time I know it, I'm speaking their tongues. And it has happened to me many times. Any preacher I love, I listen to, when they are speaking in tongues, I don't know. Well, how does I don't know? I just realized that unknowingly, I'm speaking their tongues. For the season I'm listening to them, I'm speaking their tongues. That's a, but you're not, you're not, you're not their church member. I understand what they're saying on the outside. So, I know, um, what I'm saying is this it is possible for some church members to speak the same tongue as their pastors. It's possible. Because That's if because because if people that have not seen one to one, all I do is listen to them on tape. And because I listen to them, mm. I realize that when I'm doing my own prayers, I'm just speaking their tongues. And I'm thinking, okay, where is that? I say, wow, Jesus is Lord though. So it 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 all depends. Mm. I'm not saying that um, a thing where everybody in the church will go and learn one, one, one type of milo, 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 shakatu, shakatu. I'm not. We are no. We are not talking about all those uh, gimmicks. We are talking about the real thing. But it is possible for somebody to be. In, that's why. Even that's why you can see a pastor 
you see that you say, Oh, yeah, come, this is Oyana, say, come, come and preach. And you notice they are preaching like you, and you are thinking, Wow, because fire be kept, fire that can happen. But I know people abuse that one that everybody is saying the same thing. That one I cannot explain. But, I, but one, one thing I know is it is possible for church members to speak their pastors speaking in tongues. It is possible. Okay. Says, Mine doesn't sound like a phone guy, so I'm not sure. No way. No. <laughs> Everybody is saying no. Not even, uh, not everyone, but it's possible for some synchronize with their pastor. That's the word I'm synchronize. It may not be the same frequency, yeah. not the same way they say it, but there may mm -hmm. be one or two syllables in what they are yeah. saying. But to speak exactly word for word, tongue for tongue, um, because the Bible talks about the apostles. I'm not saying it's not possible, don't get me wrong. That, because, that is, it's a complex mm, thing to talk about. If the Spirit of God leads people to speak in the same mm. tongue, but it will not be, a, it can happen, but it will not be a common thing. It will not be a regular thing, it will not be a common thing. Let me say, it will not be a common thing, it will not be a regular mm. thing. It's not that every time the pastor is speaking that tongue, and every time, every service, somebody is speaking, because that's what they call it, various types of tongues, not mm. one type of tongue. It's various, it's various. Mm. At the moment, the Holy Ghost can work it out whereby everybody will be speaking in the same tongue, yes, but it will not be a regular exercise, regular process, regular form of worship. One thing we do, we try this miss out is that when something happens as a, an example or the Holy Ghost leads people in that way, they want to lead themselves in that same way. But the Holy Ghost have, has different ways of working and we need to allow the leading of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and follow the Holy Ghost. The moment we put ourselves before the Holy Ghost to lead the service the way we think is right, mm -hmm. then the church will enter into error. But every time we allow the Holy Ghost to go forward mm -hmm. and we follow the Holy Ghost as leading. So the Holy Ghost can today say everybody is A, but tomorrow it may not say A, it may say Z. You understand? So that's how the Holy Ghost works. I don't believe the Holy Ghost can be stereotyped in one format, in one way. When Christ came and Christ was healing the blind, there's no blind he healed no blind man healed the same way. There were different ways mm. he healed all of them. Not the same format, not the same way. Check the word of God. Not the same format, not the same way. Even the leper that came, he laid hands on one. He spoke to some guru away. So, it wasn't the same format. But the problem we have in church today is that if a system works, then we want to synchronize system and begin to work with that system. Whereby, God is bringing another system for us to do for other things. And that's why as pastors, as churches, we must be at a lot to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's why I said they say it's a very complex matter. Because, like, to be honest with you, of course, I know I know that it's a strange thing when the old church is saying just one tongue. Oh, a That's a strange one. Mm. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to say it's good or it's bad. Because I'm not in there. I don't know what is happening there, miss. Because when it comes to the things of the Spirit, we need to be very careful. For the fact that God is operating in a place, in a particular way, that does not mean it is right. I mean, we can't say, oh, this thing, is it right or it is wrong? I don't know. All I know is I know how God is with me and where I am. I know what is happening and I will never, I'm on my lane. I try, it's true. I try to be on my mm -hmm. lane. And if I, and, 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 and like I was saying, somebody, I said, look, it's not everybody you have to listen to. If I notice that I, that's why we have the control for the TV, you have your iPad, you have the right to change whatever you are. If you know it is not aligned with what you believe, just change of it of without you even saying nothing. That's why, to be honest with you, I am very careful not to, how would I say, because at the end of the day, there's one language I have to say, I don't want to collide with God. Yes. When it comes to things of the Spirit, I be on my lane. If anybody's doing anything I don't like, I, I don't go into I, it. Pastor, it's not that I saw, it's not that maybe me personally saw some, but just, it just created a pop on my ah, okay. now. Okay. I've never seen a Actually, I've, I've never seen one. That's why I'm asking the question. Because I that, don't go around like it's that. It's not that possibly I'm, I'm prejudging or I saw something. I've never told you I go to the place. No, 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 I never said I'm that. I'm just that, saying that it's general. I, I never said that. Because people are out there, we need to know and understand mm. how this speaking in tongues work. And we're talking about speaking in tongues. And somebody said, no way, unless they learn it. Because sometimes people try to, what well, I'm asking this way, because people try to mimic they speaking in tongues of their pastors. They try to mimic it. I've seen it many times where people try to mimic it and copy it. That is not the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You understand? Mm -hmm. We need to allow the Holy Ghost 
to fill our mouth and speak to us not we filling our mouth and speaking the same way our pastors are speaking and that is why there's that there's that danger in it so as uh, somebody said no unless they learn it unless they, you mimic it and copy it that's it so that's why you see flow the way the holy ghost will make you flow mm. either in your own private one or in the church or wherever speaking in tongues is not in competition we are meant to complement each other and glorify god together and praise the name of god together that is very very important and that's why speaking in tongues is very important in the church and may god uphold us in the name of jesus and give us the grace in the name of jesus mm -hmm. amen that's why we need to be very careful you know anybody can say oh have you received the holy ghost let me lead you in the prayer so that you can receive if you are led to lead anybody in the reason of the holy ghost Never say, say, say after my, me. Never say, say after me. Mm. Because the moment you are saying, say after me, mm. That's when you say one word that is your own, mm. that person will think it is the normal thing they, that they can pick it up. That's, That's sure. why, please, if you are led, because you see anybody can do what mm. we are talking about, you can tell anybody, oh, have you received the Holy Ghost? Brother, sister, let's agree together and then they pray. But as you are saying, let's pray together, never tell anybody to mimic your own speaking in tongues. But that is where error will come in. That's it. So that's why may God help us in Jesus' name. As powerful as speaking in tongues is, you know, one needs to be very, very careful when it comes to speaking in tongues so that we don't enter into error. Mm -hmm. People may enter into yeah. error. And, uh, you know, Paul was saying that it's one of the least gifts. And speaking in tongues, as good as it is, there's a thin line between speaking in tongues being led by the spirit and speaking in tongues being led by the flesh. Mm -hmm. And if you can't take it, people can go in for spirit to flesh and flesh to spirit. And that's why it must only be done if we spoken, if we are prompted by the Holy Ghost, either in prayers or in whatever you are doing. Make sure you are being prompted by the Holy Ghost. And make sure, you see, the danger in speaking in tongues is that people have it crammed in their head and they play it back. And by playing it back, they almost mimic the same thing they are saying and they, they know how to say it right because it's that's why that's the danger in speaking in tongues if one is not careful they are so used to the way the tongue is coming out that they can just speak it at any point in time you must be prompted by the holy ghost to speak in tongues so when you're prompted by the holy ghost to speak in tongues then you begin to speak in tongues and the spirit will give everywhere in the bible when it comes to speaking in tongues they say that they spoke as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm -hmm. So the Spirit must give us utterance to speak in tongues, and then that will be the most effective and most powerful and most efficient speaking in tongues that will have a good uh, mark and a good effect on our lives. Mama Juliana, you said, is it right? Sorry. Can you expand it on the question? What's right? What was what, mm -hmm. the question? Ma? So you can understand the question. Because so we can... There's no question... Yeah, we can't say any question you ask, ma. So please, because want to know what the question is. Mm. I've checked. There's no. So what's the question, ma? Before we round up, and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Yeah. We continue next week with interpretation of tongues. You know, speaking of tongues more, and I believe you understand. But speaking in tongues is very, very important. If you want to know more about speaking in tongues, go and read First Corinthians chapter 14. It's there. First Corinthians chapter 14. Paul tells us about speaking in tongues. The private one, the public one, and the one for interpretation and all that. So go and check it out. It's there. Mama, what 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 do you mean? Is it right? So let us know what is right so that we can be able to answer your questions in the name of Jesus and God will help us amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So while we're waiting for Mama's question, we pray and next time as well, we pray and then on prayer the prayer point what we pray is that Lord, empower me. Holy Ghost empower me. We shall say power after yes. the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And one of the ways by which you can say power is mm. speaking in tongues. Lord, enhance and increase my speaking in tongues. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Maybe somebody is out there and you don't speak in tongues. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Yes, Seek sir. and you shall find. Yes. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. This yes. is your night. Wherever you are, 
you know what said tonight oh god fill me with the holy spirit yes. a minute from your heart mm -hmm. and every one of us that is speaking in tongues already wherever you are god's bible says speak in the spirit mm -hmm. so that we can build our spirit man so when i say pray you that you are speaking in tongues already you begin to speak in tongues wherever you are and the people who are saying i don't speak in tongues say father fill me tonight oh god and fill me with the holy spirit open up your heart and you will receive in the name of Jesus. we begin to pray in jesus name father jehovah we're coming to praise oh god for fresh infilling holy spirit of the living god holy ghost Holy Ghost, Makeri Araroshara. Anyone that is out there saying, Lord, I want to be filled. We'll pray tonight, oh God, we'll fill people, oh God. Makoina Sine Kaura Saida. Holy Ghost, touch us tonight afresh, oh God. We ask for more of you and none of ourselves. Man, the Rebo, sit there and have a cantelia. And the Rebo, so Parayara. Eke de Rebo Yagravara. And the Rebo, so Paraba. Father, we have come to build up, oh God. Our spirit man tonight, oh God. Holy Spirit of a living God. He and we have for more of you, O God, and none of ourselves, O God. Maraco superekete, ekere mekete yaba, alu para bagaregere, aliara bagaria, akaroke sopara, andele de bosha. Father, we bless you, and then we worship you. We we'll give you glory, we we'll give you honor, O God. Hallowed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Father, we bless your name tonight. We thank you, oh God. We give you glory. We say be magnified, oh God. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for touching our lives afresh tonight. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit of the Living God, we ask for more of you and all of ourselves. Yes. Spirit of the Living God, man, touch every life, touch every man, yes. every woman, every child. We we'll pray, oh God, you will ignite us, you will revive us yes. from the inside. The Bible the glass, out of our belly shall flow oh, rivers of living water. We'll pray tonight. Oh God, and your living water will begin to flow out of our belly from today. Oh God, we are going upward, never yes, downwards yes. again. We are moving forward, yes. even in the things of the spirit. Yes, Help us, oh God, yes, energize us, oh God, yes, revive us, oh yes, God. Yes. Lord, we Lord, let there be inner revival yes, in every life, in every home, in every church, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, all the glory will be us. Amen. Jesus, mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen, amen, amen. So, just so, just spoken in tongues, thank God for that. You know what? Continue in it, and God will bless you just then. Mm -hmm. And Mama has uh, asked that question. I think he said, mm -hmm. "Is it right for someone to speak?" He said, "As their pastor or something like that." Is it right for someone to speak like his or her pastor? Of course. If somebody is graced, grace in that you can speak. It is not wrong. You can speak in tongues like him or her. Of course, because a leader and the Holy Ghost may give you a similar speaking yeah. in tongues like your pastor, because at least he's somebody you are looking up to. And and you 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 honor and you cherish you know, and and you convert the gift that God has given to them so it will fall on you because just as Elisha mm. in, uh, the the gifting of uh, uh, Elijah fell on Elisha mm. of Paul on Timothy you understand know, of um, um, Moses to Joshua so on and so forth in the Bible so it can happen that yeah. way like I said way. there are some pastors that when I when I listen to them. Do you know by grace I speak their tongues? Mm. I find out it's not for a long time, just for that season. Mm. So may God help us. You see, God, you see, the Bible says God is in heaven and He does what pleases Him. Mm. And He works in mysterious ways. And I believe that the Lord would, sorry, I want to do something. He works in mysterious ways. He works in mysterious ways. And I believe that the Lord will work His wonders and miracles even in every life and destiny in the name Amen. of Jesus. Quickly, um, let's, if you want to give your life to Christ, just say this simple prayer after us, and I believe that the Lord will bless us all in the Amen. name of Jesus. Say, Lord, in case you are not born again, give your life to say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Come before I am a sinner. sinner. Forgive me my sins. my sins. Wash me with your blood. Your blood. I accept you I accept as you. my Lord and Savior. Lord Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. If you have just said that, Father, you have just been born again. Your name has just been written in the last book of life. Get yourself a Bible, get into a living church. If you are living in London, you are married to body of Christ in the center. Yeah, you can be fed with the word of the Lord. And the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Quickly, let's give a rundown of our programs. We have online, yeah. our online, our weekly programs. On Sundays, we have um, our couples forum. 
We talk more on that. You know, we are doing um, wife to husband questions. So join us this Sunday at 8 p.m. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Wednesdays like this, we have Bible study at 7 p.m. You know, we've been blessed. Join us every Wednesday and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And please don't forget on hear my cry. Oh God, every day, 6 a.m. in the morning, we'll come together for prayers. This month we're asking for power. So please join and God will bless you every month, every day, 6 a.m. in the morning. And every Wednesday, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And every Monday, 10 p.m. at night. And then we UK have, time. We have prophetic hour, 9 o'clock every Tuesday. And Mountain Moon Prayers Thursdays at 9 o'clock. Join us and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. And please don't forget our monthly our monthly program, the first seven days of the month, we ask for the power of the Holy Ghost. But right now, throughout this month, in the morning, we ask for the power of the Holy Ghost. So please join us in Jesus' name. And by the grace of God, the last three days of the month, we'll be having, yeah, my cry, oh God, three days praying and fasting, which is uh, which is on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Monday is going to, of course, I'm, we're coming on every, every, every morning. So we see how it goes. God bless everyone. And then, um, 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 the top five of every month, we have Holy Ghost Night Vision at 12 midnight. And the last day of every month, we have Gilgal Experience. The <coughs> question about debut, that the first of uh, May, mm. Tuesday, join us and God will bless you in Jesus' amen. name. Amen. 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 And please, that's our YouTube channel on the screen. Subscribe to it. And God will bless you. And as you subscribe, you will see a little, a little notification button. Press the <coughs> notification button so that you will never miss any of our programs ever again. In Jesus' name. And then for those who are on Facebook, like it, love it, for it, and share it. And God will bless you all mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God will begin to work his wonders and miracles, even in every life, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And quickly, let's go before God and ask whatever we want. And I believe that we shall all be blessed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we have made our presence. We grant our request. Walk your wonders. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. We shall testify. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Before we go quickly, our couples forum program coming up this Sunday by the mm-hmm. grace of God. Make sure you are part and parcel. Join us. I tell you, your life shall never remain the same again. Amen. The women are asking the men questions. So join us. Last Sunday was very, 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 very fantastic. People were blessed. So if you missed last Sunday, go back on our Facebook or YouTube and join. What should they expect? Hmm. Answers to questions by women. In a nutshell. <laughs> Answers to questions by women. Mm. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. But it's quite interesting and it's quite educating. Mm. So please try and join us and your life will not be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So that's all that explain. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for joining. God will bless you. We appreciate you. And God will bless you. Because the final purpose of God for every life will come to pass and shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we share the grace of the chapter 31 3? May Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thanks for watching. God bless you. I appreciate Amen. you. Have a nice evening and stay in the world. Stay in the world. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye bye.